Che and not get hit. If I have to get in war, I will, but I'd rather just keep it at my pace and control the whole fight. Respect, discipline, and uh, sacrifice. A lot of sacrifice. 18-year-old Ruben Villa is one of the most exciting amateur boxing prospects in America. The teenage bantamweight sensation has over 135 victories to his name and has won countless national titles. To find out more about the youngster who's being tipped to take next year's Olympics by storm, Transworld Sport traveled to Salinas in California, where Ruben lives and trains. My family, uh, my dad and my grandpa are big uh, boxing fans and when I was five, uh, my dad took me to the boxing gym for my birthday and uh, just moved up from there. Whilst it was the men in the Villa family who introduced Ruben to the sport, it was actually his mother who spotted the early signs that her son was destined for the noble art. There's a baby picture of him. His hands are up to his face like this. You know, like, he was ready already, I, I feel. You know, those hands were the gift of something special. I don't know why they were there. Every baby's hands are either here or here. And his were to his face. And I just feel that was just, that was his gift. He was already letting it know that those hands were special. Ruben began fighting as an amateur at the age of eight, and he proved a natural at the sport. The South Poor fighter's career has been overseen by trainer Rudy Puga. Well, when I first met Ruben, it was, what, 10, 11 years? It was at the Recreation Center here in Salinas. And, um, you know, it's like you're ever any other young kid going to the gym, wanting to try boxing. You know, you, you looked at it and it's like, well, Let's see what happens. I mean, the kids change their mind every day, so you know you didn't know if he was going to stay or not. But uh, after his first fight, I, I figured, well, hey, the kid wants it. He's 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 got talent, and um, he wants this. Salinas is a small city, a hundred miles south of San Francisco. It's known as the salad bowl of America due to the fact that 80% of the nation's lettuce is grown here. It was also the hometown of writer John Steinbeck, who based several of his novels here, including his most famous work, Of Mice and Men. Like most West Coast cities, gangs are a problem, especially after dark. I don't want my son to be a gang member, because, you know, or a troublemaker, or out in the streets, or, you know? So I, I've always said, I feel like my husband saved my son's life and my son saved my husband and his uncle's lives because they're all involved with it now. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I, I, I wouldn't change anything. And this was a, see this frame right Ruben has four sisters and the Villas are a close-knit family who are fiercely proud of their Mexican roots. They've looked on with pride as Rubin has established himself as the number one ranked amateur bantamweight boxer in the United States. Despite his fierce reputation in the ring, outside it, he has a somewhat softer side. He's crazy, he's a brat. <laughs> I always say he's the princess. I have four daughters and one son, but he's the main princess in the house. Like I told you, they're very spoiled and needy. Boxers are very spoiled and needy, from massages to you know, haircuts and their boxing equipment and for, you name it, they need it. From eating healthy, he's, he's the queen of the house. <laughs> it may be something of a cliche, but nevertheless, it still rings true that boxing is responsible for saving many a young man's life. Saving them from a world of crime and other negative influences. And that has certainly been the case for Rubin. He chose the, the right path, even though some are, <clears throat> like you say, his family members, you know, as they've gone through bad times and um, he chose in the right way. And, you know, I, I myself, you know, never been involved with none of that. And I always try to give them my best advice. Stay away from all that. 
Ruben and Rudy have a close relationship that has proved hugely successful. When he first started boxing, Ruben was christened Dracula by Rudy because of his missing front teeth. It's a nickname that has stuck over the years. Of course you're gonna bump heads or I'm not gonna agree with what they tell me, but that's my coach, him and my dad. Uh, they want what's best for me and I'm gonna listen to them even if I don't like what they're telling me. So far in his career, the highlight has been winning back-to-back -back Golden Gloves championships. Having dominated the domestic scene for years, the next step is to take his talents onto the world stage, and Ruben sees the 2016 Rio Olympics as the perfect opportunity to do so. He knows that as a Mexican-American, he has a proud ring tradition to uphold. I'm pretty sure it means big. For, for me and my people, uh, I have a lot of respect for the Mexican people and uh, hopefully I could uh, make them happy by bringing any medal or even making the team. I'm pretty sure they'd still be proud of me and uh, a big support from the Mexican people here in uh, Salinas and California. Surprisingly, the United States has not won a men's boxing gold medal at the Olympics since 2004, when Andre Ward took the light heavyweight title. Ruben hopes to emulate the achievements of another US Olympic champ, and one with Mexican ancestry, Oscar de la Hoya. I've always said it, and I, and I believe that anyone would say this, any Mexican-American that captures the gold it's set for life. The last American that got the goal was war. The last Mexican-American was De La Hoya. And that was back in 92. So at this point, USA, we just want a gold. But being a Mexican-American heritage, it's just going to make the win a little bit more sweeter. And financially, it'll be a lot, a lot for, for that athlete. So we can't come back without gold. We can't. <clears throat> it's not acceptable. Despite his tender years, Ruben has already taken on the role of elder statesman in his local boxing community, with a group of talented pre-teens seeking to emulate his achievements in the amateur game. They're practically my little brothers. Uh, I'm pretty sure I look up to them as, they, as much as they look up to me. I, re I respect them because I know how hard it is for uh, young athletes or young boxers while they start their amateur career. And uh, I'm pretty sure they're next. If they just uh, put in the work like I did and uh, stay with the strong team that we have, they, they will be next and you'll be hearing for them. Adopting the mantra of hard work, dedication from his idol Floyd Mayweather, Ruben is more than willing to put in the hard graft in order to reap the rewards. He possesses a piercing jab, smart footwork and astonishing hand speed. Coupled with this is his calm and focused demeanour in the ring. I think it is very important for me to be humble uh, so people don't think that I'm turning uh, cocky or big time or whatever. Uh, I'm always going to stay humble and uh, that's just the way I was raised. The Ruben Villa story is a Salinas tale that looks set to run and run. And when you're watching the Olympics next year, keep an eye out for this star of the future. Subscribe now to our YouTube channel for the very best of Transworld Sports.